When it's just you, well, times can be tough. Nan Dobbs's Tetracanthus, the Cuban cichlid. It's a visually arresting. Its pointed snout is pugnacious, a solid match for any of its rugged mainland cousins. Couple that ferocious front end with the striking contrast of its light and dark coloration, and you have a fish whose first impression is like a punch in the nose. But looks aren't everything. The Cuban cichlid has more to its mystique than simple looks. For us U.S.-based fish keepers, like me, the Cuban cichlid have, until recently, been hard to come by due to well-known political issues. For those reasons and more, I utterly adore this fish. This fish is unremarkable when it comes to its requirements and in keeping with its fellow Central American cichlids, it is a hardy fish. Tank raised fish will be more tolerant of a range of pH values. While captive bred fish can deal with a wider pH range, it is best to keep it in water between 7 and 8. If your tap water is outside of these ranges, it doesn't mean you can't keep the fish. You could give it a go and see how the fish reacts to your water. Remember, when it comes to deliberately raising or lowering your pH, a lot of the time it's a bad idea. The Cuban cichlid is at home with a typical tropical fish temperature range of 75.2 to 86 degrees or 24 to 30 degrees Celsius. The Nandopsis genus has another species in it, the closely related Haitian cichlid, or as it's better known, the Black Nasty Cichlid. It's safe to say that aggression runs in the family. This fish has a temperament comparable to other Central American cichlids, and as such, extra care must be taken when housing it with other fish. For us fish keepers, fewer things feel worse than waking up to a fish whose tank mate beat it to death. This cichlid hardly differs from its close relatives. It is a substrate spawner where both parents care for the eggs and the fry. It breeds as eagerly as you might expect. Due to their aggressive behavior, extra care is necessary when attempting to form pair bonds. Begin with a divider between the fish. Once they have formed a bond, provide the female with hides big enough for her to fit, but too small for him to fit. To prevent injury or death to either the male or the female, observe the pair vigilantly. Cuban cichlids will spawn on a smooth stone or terracotta plate or better yet a smooth plate. Smoother surfaces are preferred. They are less favorable for excessive bacteria growth. This in turn leads to a higher hatch rate from the clutch. Now, some breeders have followed the path laid out by the Super Red Texas Cichlid and produced the Super Red Cuban Cichlid. This hybrid is produced by using a female blood red parrot, itself a hybrid, and a male Cuban Cichlid. So now you're probably wondering, what do I feed something like this? They are a carnivore and they get about 10 inches. Uh, so what is it that you should feed these guys? Well, they are, like I said, carnivores, so they need something with high protein, not so much on the vegetable side. But what I keep, what I feed these fish and everything in that tank actually, is the tetracyclid floating cichlid sticks. I also use API's cichlid pellets. Both of them are very popular with all of the fish in this tank, and yeah that would be what I would recommend just because those are the ones that I use and have gotten success with another thing I might want to mention to you guys when I first got this cichlid I actually thought that I was given the wrong fish you might wonder well what what fish looks like it I mean it's very distinctive but in actuality it looks a lot like a distant cousin the Cuban cichlid looks a lot like the Jaguar cichlid, at least in the baby stage. When they get bigger, their, their body shapes definitely differ quite a bit, and so do the markings and coloration. But when they're in that baby stage, they look a lot like Jaguar cichlids. So 
be sure to double check to make sure that there's no Jaguar cichlids in the tank with them when you purchase them and you should be good to go. All right, so if you found this information useful, please go ahead and hit that like button. I would love it if you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell just to let you know when our next video comes out. And just remember, guys and gals, we are feeding the addiction one tank at a time through education and inspiration. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye now.